Making your home into a smart home is cool, rewarding and necessary. Well, at least that's what I keep saying to my wife. But is it really? Over the past couple of years, I've been buying and setting up all kinds of sensors and devices and recently got the opportunity to review a motorized roller shade from Smartweight for our office. In this video, we'll cover what options you have, what you get for your money and is it actually worth getting smart blinds. Let's get into it. First, let's talk a little about Smartwings. It's a company specializing in blinds and shades. They offer an extensive selection, including standard light filtering and blackout options, as well as automated curtains, exterior shades, and more. With nearly 50 product varieties, their range is pretty impressive. However, the actual products they offer are secondary to the secret weapon, the intelligent motors that power the shades. These smart motors are compatible with a wide array of platforms, from the popular consumer choices like Google Home and Apple HomeKit to more professional systems such as Control 4 and Crestron. In terms of connectivity, they support a variety of wireless protocols, including Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi and the latest standards like Matter over Thread. Additionally, all their motors and controls are backed with a 3-year warranty, which is always nice to see. In our example, we're using Home Assistant and utilizing the Zigbee protocol for communication. I prefer using Home Assistant due to its interoperability as it allows me to get the best from different systems. If I really wanted to, I could mix and match different systems altogether. This also means that I sometimes need to tinker to make things work, but that's a topic for another video. First, let's get into the process of how we plan for the blinds and what are the considerations. If you already have your mind set on getting smart blinds or drapes and have some sort of smart system in place, the process should be straightforward. First thing is to figure out what space do you have and how things will be mounted. For instance, in our case, we opted for blackout blinds and needed to figure out whether to mount them on the inside or the outside of the window frame. Smartwings offers an excellent guide for taking measurements and they emphasize checking for adequate space during the ordering process as well. After taking all the measurements, consider how you will be powering the shades. While they come with batteries, you might prefer a permanent power solution using direct wiring. Plan the placement of the power connections carefully, ensuring it's near power outlets or easily accessible. In our case, we position the power connector closer to the wall to simplify potential hardwiring in the future. An optional solar panel can be installed on the window to enhance battery life, but its effectiveness depends on your specific needs and the amount of sunlight the window receives. In our tests over the past month, we've noticed a decrease in battery life despite using solar panel, as the window only gets up less than one hour of direct sunlight a day. Additionally, the cable for the panel is quite short, so plan carefully before choosing this option. If you don't like the appearance of the panel, you can always adjust the blind limits so that when it's fully opened, the blind covers the panel from the inside. Back to the blind ordering itself. You will need to decide between an inside or an outside mount and provide precise dimensions for the perfect fit. They even accommodate the most unconventional sizes. Next, you need to select the type of motor, which determines the compatibility with various systems, from the basic remote control to the advanced matter over thread integration. The choice of the top and bottom bars is primarily aesthetic, enhancing the appearance but also adding to the cost. Additionally, there are accessories like the 5 and 15 channel remote control and Helix Dial Remote. These are particularly handy if you're managing multiple blinds and shades throughout your home and wish to operate them individually or collectively using tangible device. We are currently evaluating the Helix Dial Remote, compatible with managing up to eight channels. This versatile device can be either standalone on a desk or be wall mounted in a convenient location, such as beside your thermostat. Lastly, you'll need to choose the roll type and as mentioned earlier, the motor side. This decision is crucial. Even if you don't plan to wire it up immediately, consider and plan for the future possibilities. And all the way at the end, you can specify a room label. This can be handy if you're ordering multiple units so you know which one is which. Once you've customized everything, you can proceed with the order. However, be aware that due to the extensive customization options and smart home integration, smart wing blinds are not cheap, especially if you add extras like the solar panel and control unit. On the plus side, they offer free delivery worldwide, which is a significant advantage considering the potential cost savings. Then we wait for the items to be shipped. The lead time will vary based on your choices and the sizes you selected. Our order took approximately three weeks to arrive. Once we receive the blind, the installation could not be simpler. Our unit is about two meters wide, 
so we had to use three brackets to install at the top of the window frame. After that, the blind box just clips into place. They provide detailed manual how to power it on and it comes pre-calibrated, but if you need to adjust the endpoints, this could be done as well. After enabling the blind, I simply held down the connection button and added it as a device on Home Assistant, where it quickly synced up. Setting up the remote control was just as easy. In Home Assistant, you can control the blind going up, down, stop, and even set the percentage of how much you should open. It also displays battery life. The next part is more exciting and is going to be very individual, the home automation. In our example, we wanted the blind to come down whenever the light is on to provide us some privacy and stay down during the night. In the morning, it should just open up and that's exactly what we set up. Every time we turn on the light in the room, the blind automatically comes down. If it's before 6 p.m., once the light is off, the blind will come back up. After 6 p.m., the blind will stay down if the light is off, and then it will be closed until the morning when it will automatically open up. We did notice that the blind is not exactly quiet, registering at approximately 46 dBA at a distance of one meter. If it was in the bedroom and open in the morning, it would certainly wake me up. I wish there was an option to slow it down, which could potentially make it more quiet. Currently, our blind, which is 120 centimeters in length, opens up and closes in 21 seconds. In general, the Helix Dial remote worked flawlessly. For the most part, I left it on my desk to make quick adjustments if needed. It's straightforward and convenient. However, while testing it, we did encounter some issues. The Dial remote became unresponsive. Neither the buttons nor the wheel worked, even after charging it. The screen was completely frozen, displaying one on it. After reaching out to Smartwings, their representative kindly explained that they are aware of the issue and they are actively working on fixing it. For us, the fix was actually quite simple. On the back of a dial, there are some holes. We were advised to use a small wire to short the two leftmost contacts. This reset the unit and fixed the problem. I hope they fix this for good moving forward though. Another thing to note is the obstacle avoidance. If there is anything in the way, the blind won't detect it and it will continue lowering itself onto the object. I wish they had a solution for this, as it could damage the material. When raising the blind, it just moves up without sensing obstructions either, which could also damage the motor if it gets snagged. Which leads us to the main question, is it worth getting smart blinds at all? If you value the convenience and added privacy that the smart blinds offer, they can be a good investment. However, if you are budget conscious or do not have any strong need for the added features, traditional blinds might suffice. A roller shade in general is a pretty simple device. Making it smart and setting up creative automations is what gets me excited. And maybe it is a bit overrated, but I like it. The overall process from ordering to setting up was simple and well documented, but I'd probably say the price is a bit too steep. What do you guys think? Would you be setting up the whole of your house with these? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you think that these smart wings blinds might be what you need, check out the link below for more details. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one.